And welcome back to the Crochet Credits with my friends at Yarnspirations.com, continuing with the Inspired by Joy Afghan with Jeannie. And we are going to move on in this for week number two for rounds number, um, what do we have here? All the way 16 to 33. So we've got a little bit to cover today. How I do this now in the tutorial work is that I will show you how a corner starts. I will show you what the repeat pattern is. I will then tell you what the repeat is all the way to the corner. And if there's something special, I will show you the corner uh, when I come back all the way around and show you how to finish off. So essentially what I'm doing behind the scenes is just focusing on a corner, the repeating so that you know how to start and how to continue along. So you'll be noticing that I will be ending yarn on one side as I just do enough to show you and then I'll pick it up on the other side to grow it out. So without further ado, you're going to use the same hook that you used before. And I'm going to be using a different color because I'm just using spare yarn today. This was Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the color Scuba, which I've just finished. And now I'm just using Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the color of Hickory. And that will be today's choice that I will be playing with. So without further ado, let's begin round number 16. As we begin the popcorn stitch, it's gonna be done slightly different than one you're used to. I haven't ever done it this way before. And what this is, and uh, explaining it with Jeannie um, when, she, when I was just talking to her, see these back post double crochets that are here that are forcing the row up below. The row that is forced up, those are the stitches that we're going to be playing with in order to do these popcorns. So the back post double crochet makes the row below point uh, pop up forward. Let's begin number 16. Let's begin round number 16. You're gonna want this color to be really awesome because it's gonna pop and make the popcorns just jump off the project. You're gonna start in any corner with a standing single crochet. So put it onto the hook, pull a loop through. You got the two loops, pull through both. That's a standing single crochet. When you start a side, you're going to always start the same way. You're gonna chain four, so one, two, three, four and I need you to skip the first four stitches out. So one, two, three, four, come to the fifth and come straight down to the next row below that one. It's right there. This is the um, two rows below and the stitches are sitting in front because of the back post double crochet that was made in the row below. So you're just gonna come in and just grab that one and you're gonna put three double crochets in there, which is how we're going to form the popcorn. Once the three are in, release it, come to the first one, front to back, grab the loop and pull through and chain one to lock like that. You're then going to start the remaining of the popcorn until you get to the next corner. So to get to the next popcorn, chain three, one, two, three, skip only three, one, two, three, and come to the fourth. Noticing that I just kind of push this in behind you don't need to see that right now in this row. So then the fourth one away, three double crochet. So you're gonna repeat this all the way into the other side. So when you get to the other side of right here, you're gonna have four stitches left at the very end. You'll skip those, we'll chain four, and then in the corners, you'll apply one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Please continue this around. This is lucky round number 16, and I'll be right back in a moment. After the last popcorn is before a corner or coming around, you're gonna notice and you kind of just push up the back that you'll see, okay, that we've been kind of working in front here. And so you will notice that you will skip over the final four stitches. So one, two, three, four. So from here, you're gonna chain four. So one, two, three, four. So skipping over the four that you can see and behind, go right to the corner, single crochet. And if this is the end of the line for you, chain two, and slip stitch to the beginning single crochet to finish. You wanna get rid of this color because if you carry on this uh, color into the next round, these popcorns will kind of disappear and kind of lose its effect. Let's move on to round number 17. Let's begin round number 17. So get a new color going. I'm gonna just bring back the blue and I wanna go way into the corner and it's a standing single crochet into the corner. So it's the last corner that I was working with and I'm going to just do a standing single crochet. So they want you to skip over the first stitch on this here. And Jeannie wants us to focus on the four stitches that are here. So push back this out of the way and behind and focus on single crochet the next four 
that is in this row here. So one, two, three, and four. To jump over one of these, you're going to chain one and you're gonna skip the stitch that it's in front of. And then remember that there's gonna be three stitches that are between these popcorns. So if you're not sure, you can just lean it forward and take a peek and then just kind of guess it out that way. So there's gonna be three in between these popcorns. So continue to move this behind. This is almost like interlocking and this is making those popcorns stand on their own. So once you get to the next one, chain one, skip the one that it's in front of and focus on the three in between. And you're gonna do this all the way to the next corner. And then when you hit the next corner, you're, the last four before the corner will be single crochet. You'll jump immediately, then you're gonna skip the, So you're then going to do the last four single crochets that are in the same row, and then you'll jump immediately right to the corner of what we're working with now, and that'll be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. So please continue this all the way around. So when you come up to the corner or all the way around, the last four here in this row will be one single crochet. So one, two, three, and four. And then you're going to come right into the corner here, one single crochet. And then in this case, I'm going to continue the same color. So I'm going to join with a half double crochet. But if you'd like to change your colors, you can do so at any time. So um, you can chain two, um, slip stitch off if you need to, and then carry on with the new color. So you can see this is how the popcorns are popping. Round number 18, you're going to chain up three counts as a double crochet and then double crochet into the same corner. So the corners on this one will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. We'll finish this corner on the way back around. So we're going to apply one double crochet in each stitch. If you have a chain one space, which you have above the popcorns, make sure you put in one double crochet in those spaces as well. So everybody gets a double crochet, whether it's a single crochet stitch below, or in this case right now, this is a chain one. So fill that in with, this, with the double crochet and then carry on that way. So please do this all the way around. This is round number 18. When you come back around, I just want you to apply two double crochet into the beginning space. And in this case, number 18, uh, it says we are going to do a half double crochet join, but you can do a chain two also and just put to there and we're going to change out the color. I am gonna finally move to that hickory like I talked about before. So let's begin number 19. Okay, I'm gonna do number 19, starting with the new color and we're gonna slip stitch to any corner space. Just attach. Chain one, and we're gonna do an extended single crochet like we did in week number one. So we're just gonna go in, pull through, pull through only one loop, and then through two. So that chain one that you started with, don't confuse that as being a stitch in the future because it's not. So you're now just gonna do the back post double crochet around each of the posts going all the way to the next corner and then your corners will be one extended single crochet chain two one extended single crochet I need you to do this all the way around for round number 19 and I'll be right back so I'm coming all the way back around or whether you're coming to your first corner or so just make sure you go right to the very end and then you're just going to go right into the corner with an extended single crochet and I'm going to want to get rid of this color. Uh, so I'm going to do a chain two and single crochet to the top. Sorry, yeah, a slip stitch to the top of the first extended single crochet. Sorry, I'm not used to saying extended single crochet. It's brand new for me. So we're just going to trim and get ourselves ready for round number 20. So in number 20, we're going to go back to the popcorn. So choose a color that will jump out of the project nicely. And so you're going to come into the chain two of corner and you're gonna do a standing single crochet with whatever color you decided. So the counts to get to the first popcorn are different than what we did before. So just pay attention to that. So now that the first standing single crochet is in, we want to chain two and we're gonna skip only two stitches. So we're gonna skip this one and this one and then the popcorn will go into the one straight on down. Okay, so just follow it straight on down 
and you're going to put in your three double crochets into that one okay just like you did before okay and you're going to release it and then chain one to lock and like you did before chain three so one two three skip three so you might as well just push this in behind so you don't see it and then just skip three so one two three go to the fourth and another popcorn so you're going to do this all the way to the first corner or all the way around and the last two before the end you're going to skip you'll chain two and then in the corners it's one single crochet chain two one single crochet please repeat this all the way around this is round number 20. So coming to the first corner or all the way around, you're just going to chain two after the last popcorn and then just come right into your corner and single crochet in. You're going to want to get rid of this color, so I suggest you chain two and then slip stitch to the very beginning. Okay, so let's get rid of this color and let's bring on number 21. Let's bring on number 21 using a different color to make these popcorns jump out too. And so we're just going to do a standing single crochet and then we're going to begin. So it says we're going to skip the first stitch out, which will be this one right here. And you're going to come back down to this row below. Remember that there was two stitches that you skipped. So you're just going to apply one single crochet into each of those. And do you remember how to jump over one of those popcorns? Sure you do. It's chain one and you're going to jump over it. And remember that there's three stitches in between. So you're just going to work in front of this here to keep that in behind. So as you go all the way, to the other side of the of the next corner that you'll run into you'll have two single crochets that are left before the corner and then you'll jump immediately to the corner itself of one single crochet chain two one single crochet please complete this all the way around for number 21. so i'm coming around and as if it, if it was the first corner you would still have the same thing so you're going to fill in the final two on this row and then you're going to skip the last one here and then just immediately go right into the corner of single crochet. I want to keep this color going, so I'm going to leave it here, and I'm just going to do a half double crochet join. But if you don't want to, just chain two, um, slip stitch, and then change out your color, and then these popcorns should be jumping off too. Let's begin number 22. So this is the same as that double crochet round from what we did before, so you'll chain up three, and one double crochet into the same one, so the corners will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. You are going to double crochet in each of the stitches and also chain one spaces all the way across to the next corner. Do the corner as I just said, and then just make sure that you do fill in those spaces that are above the popcorn to make it look complete. Please do this all the way around. This is round number 22. Coming all the way around at number 22, just filling in that final corner. And I want to just join it with a half double crochet at the top and let's move on to 23 next. Number 23, you already know what you're doing with this thing and you're just going to just chain one and you are going to do an extended single crochet into the corner. So the corners in this round will be one extended single crochet, chain two, one extended single crochet. We'll finish this on the way back around. Each one of the stitches all the way across to the next corner will be a back post double crochet like you did before and please do this all the way around for round number 23. So I'm coming all the way around and the last one is one extended single crochet in here and then I'm going to just chain two and join to the top of the first extended and get rid of this color. So we're going to do popcorns next and so you want the popcorns to bounce out again to make them really quite obvious. So I will bring back the blue just for the fun of it and we'll move on to round number 24 next. Let's go for round number 24. It's actually the same instruction as number 16. It's just a different color that Jeannie's recommending. So we're going to do standing single crochet right in the corner again. And Jeannie wants us to um, skip the first four out. This chain one looks like it's a stitch. It's not. So to make sure that you don't do that. So you're going to skip the four stitches. So one, two, three, four, and come into the fifth one and straight on down. And that's where your popcorn's going to be, but before you get there, you have to chain four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, so one, two, three, four, skip, and go right there. And you'll apply your three 
double crochet in there to form your popcorn once again. Okay, and you'll release that, let it go, going in, chain one to lock, and then chain three. So one, two, three. Just ignore the back one here, just focus on this one here, skipping three, go to the fourth, and then continue to do your popcorn. As you hit the first corner, you'll notice that you'll skip the final four stitches that are on this one here. So just get in your last one, skip the remaining chain four and do your corners of single crochet, chain two, single crochet. So please do this all the way around. This is round number 24. So whether you're coming up all the way around or to the first corner, after the last popcorn, you're going to chain a total of four and then you're gonna skip right into the very last one here, which is the corner spot. So we are gonna get rid of this color, so I would suggest you chain two and slip stitch to the beginning one, and let's change our color to something new, and let's begin number 25 in just a moment. Okay, number 25 is the same as number 17, so you're just gonna come right into the corner spot. Do a standing single crochet. You're gonna skip the first one and concentrate on the four that are on this row below. Okay, so you just continue to go in there. So you're gonna count one, two, three, and four, and then chain one, skip over the popcorn and focus on the three in between. Okay, so moving that loop or that uh, chain space in behind to capture it there. And then I need you to do this all the way to the other side. So you're just skipping threes in between here, but on the very last one, you'll have the final four. And then you'll go right into the corner space of one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Please do this all the way around for number 25. So coming around is the last four here before the corner, skipping this one here and going right in single crochet. And then I'm gonna keep the same color. So I'm just going to do a half double crochet join to the first single crochet that you started with. Let's move on to round number 26. Number 26, chain up three, and then double crochet into the same one, and apply one double crochet into each stitch and space, just like you did before, now all the way to the next corner in order for you to, to do that. Okay, and then the corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. So please do this for number 26. So I'm coming around at number 26 and just coming to my last corner and apply two double crochets there. I'm gonna keep the same color, so I'm gonna do a half double crochet join to the top of the chain three. And let's move to number 27. Number 27, we're back to doing the back post double crochets again. So just chain up one. If you're adding new color, just join it and chain one and do an extended single crochet and then apply one back post double crochet around each stitch. And then the corners are one extended single crochet, chain two, one extended single crochet. Please do this all the way around for number 27. Coming all the way back around in the very last chain two space, you're going to, sorry, you're gonna do an extended single crochet. And I am going to then join it to the top of the first extended with the half double crochet join. I'm gonna keep the same color going again, and let's do number 28. 28 is just a double crochet round again, so just chain up three, and one double crochet into the same corner, and then one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the next corner. Corners are two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, and go all the way around for round number 28. Coming all the way around at number 28, just fill in the last one, I'm gonna change the color out so it's gonna be two double crochet, and because I'm changing, I'm gonna chain two and slip stitch to the top of the first chain three. Let's get rid of this color and let's move on to number 29 next. Number 29, let's start with our very first one. And we are going to start off with just joining it and chain one and do an extended single crochet once again. Now we're gonna do front post and back post all the way to the next corner. So you're gonna start off with the front post double crochet. And then the next one is gonna be a back post double crochet. And you're gonna alternate between the two of these all the way. The very one before the corner should be a front post double crochet. 
and then your corner so it'll be one extended double crochet or one extended single crochet chain two one extended single crochet so please do this all the way around for number 29. I'm coming all the way around here on number 29 the last one as I mentioned should be a front post double crochet your corners will then be an extended single crochet if you're sh this is your last corner then what I recommend is that we are going to then just join it or you can break it if you want to but if you want to change out your color just chain two and slip stitch to the top of the first extended single crochet and if you want to keep the same color just do a half double crochet join let's begin number 30 so you're going to start with the back loop only so you just start with the corner sorry you just go in standing single crochet so there's your first single crochet so the corners on this one will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. The remaining of the stitches all the way around will be a single crochet in the back loop only. And this will create a ridge, which is what Jeannie's pattern has. So stay within those back posts. And when you hit that corner, it's single crochet, chain two, single crochet into the corner space. I'll see you on the end of this round. This is number 30. Coming up to the end of number 30, just going into the last one, do an extended single crochet. And then I'm going to change the color to something else. So I'm just going to chain two and slip stitch to the beginning, extended single crochet. Let's move on to the 31st round next. Round number 31, just join a new color if you want to and just chain three. That counts as your first double crochet and then double crochet it again. I need you to now put in one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the next corner. The corners on this round will be two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Please do this around for number 31. Coming up all the way around, the very last corner is two double crochet, and then a half double crochet join. Let's move on to number 32 next. Let's begin number 32. You're gonna chain up one and apply one single crochet into the first corner, and then apply then one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the next corner. The corners on this round will be one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet. Please do this around for number 32. So I'm coming up to the end of number 32. I've got a single crochet in the beginning chain or the beginning space, and I'm going to then just do a half double crochet join. I'm gonna keep this color on for one more time and conclude today's tutorial. So we're going to then chain up three. If you're adding new color, just join and chain three, and then just double crochet in the same one. So each stitch all the way to the next corner is one double crochet again, like it was before. And you're going to then do your corners of two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Do this all the way around. This is the final round for today's video. This is round number 33. So I'm coming up to the end of number 33, just filling in the final space with two double crochet. And then I am going to chain two and slip stitch and end the color right now. So this is where I'm going to leave you today. We'll join you next time on week number three as we continue our journey of the Inspired by Joy by Jeannie. And we hope you have a good one and we hope to see your creativity uh, shown on Facebook. And this is a really neat idea and everything seems to line up wonderfully. That's it for today. We hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.